Hi everyone, my name is Sue Devon. I'm a Derry-based writer, originally from Armagh in Northern Ireland, and I'm really thrilled that my novel, Truth Be Told, has been shortlisted for the KPMG Children's Book Ireland Awards 2023. A huge thank you, first of all, to everyone who's been part of that process uh, and to all the junior juries out there who are going to be busy reading over the next month. I really hope that you have fun. So what's this book about? Uh, well, Truth Be Told is a YA or young adult novel. It's a bit of a Derry Girls meets Parent Trap, if that means anything to you. The two girls on the front cover are Tara and Faith. Both girls are 16. Tara is from Derry City and Faith lives in rural Armagh. Tara has been raised in a single parent family with her mam and nan. She's never known her dad and she's not really into school except that she's really great at art and she's brilliant at cross country running as well. She's been brought up Catholic in an Irish community in Northern Ireland but her family aren't at all religious. Faith, on the other hand, is a more quiet academic type. She lives with her mum and dad, uh, is hoping to go to university to maybe study medicine or something like that. Um, and for her, she's Protestant. She's been brought up in a British background in Northern Ireland and her religious beliefs are actually really important to her. So their lives and their personalities are really very different. But have a look at that cover. Um, you will find that the girls look very similar. And when they meet for the first time on a cross community youth residential, they discover that they are virtually identical. And that triggers the question, are they connected? And if so, how? So the book's a bit of a quest. It's a definite roller coaster of emotions. Don't say I didn't warn you. And it's full of lots of fun and humor, but also some big contemporary issues to make you think. So the girls want to find out the truth about themselves. But in doing that, they uncover a lot more than they bargained for. So what if, as it says on the back cover, finding out who you truly are means undermining everything that you've ever known. So what are the big themes in Truth Be Told? The novel, surprise, surprise, is set in Northern Ireland. It's 2019 and although the characters and the story are completely made up, they're set on a backdrop of issues that are very real. I'm a writer, but I'm also a peace and reconciliation worker in Derry, Londonderry. And I'm passionate about uh, making, working with diverse communities and people and trying to build peace and understanding between people. So in autumn 2019, for real, some of the big issues in Northern Ireland, which people had diverse views on, included LGBT rights, support for victims and survivors of the troubles that passed conflict in Northern Ireland, women's rights, poverty, mental health, um, paramilitary punishment attacks, and the very minor fact that we hadn't had a government here for three years. And unfortunately, it's like deja vu because that's where we're at at the minute again. So I like to write stories that make people think. I also write to create empathy. So that sense of walking in somebody else's shoes is really important to me. By reading a book, any book, you get a chance to be in somebody else's head or in their life and emotions for a while. And I think that's really powerful for helping us understand people who might be different to us or diverse stories and different viewpoints. I like to show that building peace takes real courage and that it's complicated. So Northern Ireland, we're often told, well, you know, it's just Catholics versus Protestants, but actually it's much more complex than that. That's just the simple labels that people put onto something. So truth be told digs into justice and forgiveness and what that means. It's also about the stories that don't fit that normal telling of Northern Ireland. The stories that are less often told or sometimes the stories that are deliberately hidden. In particular, it's the story of three generations of women. So not just Tara and Faith, but their parents' generation and their grandparents comes into it a little bit. But 
just so that you don't think it's all really mad and heavy, I'm going to read you a short extract from Tara. So when I'm writing, I really like to have characters that have what they call a strong voice. Um, by voice, writers just mean that a character really connects with the readers. There's something unique about them, how they sound, how they come across. And if you're writing a story, maybe you can think about giving your character a unique voice. So this little extract is just Tara cleaning her bedroom as she gets ready for a visit from Faith and Jack, who are coming to stay the night for the Derry Halloween Festival. This morning, I took to cleaning. It was when I kicked an odd ankle sock and a pair of pants under the dresser that it dawned. Faith would be staying in my room and Jack, OMG, like an actual boy, sleeping in my bedroom. A full surgical operation was required. A nanny McPhee or a sorcerer's apprentice option would have been helpful. Two hours later, I was wrecked. It was tidied, vacuumed, aired, sprayed with deodorant and respread for good measure. Not that there'll be much sleeping tonight for anyone and not just on account of fishnet tights. It's Derry Halloween, the best night of the year in the world. One pack of chewing gum later and intensive brain scrambling for my inner guru, I'd still no solution. How could I tell my mom and nan that my maybe half-sister they don't know exist is staying the night? Or that I'm 16 and for the first time ever, I'm going to have a boy who is 17 and definitely not my cousin sleeping right there. Me and my pre-mark PJs and him, OMG, like will Jack even bring PJs? I smell my breath. Chewing gum is way better than cigarettes. I must not eat baked beans. Hopefully that give you a wee bit of a smile. I'm going to finish with a challenge, should you choose to accept it. There's a saying that as a writer, you write what you know. There's another important thing in writing, that you make people care. So I'd love it if you could pick a real issue that you know something about and that you feel quite strongly about. But instead of writing a speech or an essay, I'd like you to try something different. I'd like you to try maybe using fiction or a bit of creativity. If you like writing, try and write a made up story which includes a character who is facing that issue in their lives. Make something bad happen to them. That's a top tip. You've got to have conflict. Something bad has to happen to your characters so that they can grow and go on a journey and overcome something. So make something bad happen to your character to do with that issue. And in the story, work out how the character faces up to that issue and does something about it. If, like Tara, you prefer art, uh, think about Tara. So in the book, she uses her art, her drawings, her paintings to highlight an issue. If you're artistic, try to produce a piece of art that will make people think. So thanks for listening. I really do hope that you enjoy reading Truth Be Told and all the other amazing books that are on the shortlist this year. I hope that Tara and Faith will make you smile, laugh, cry, maybe just a little bit, but not too much. And definitely think. Thank you. And whatever you do, please keep reading. <laughs>